Hey stampers, Gainer again. And my new stamp set came today, the Simply Gleaming, which you'll see, well, you just saw a couple of weeks back, but because I always film so far in advance. So um, I come across a box of ornaments somebody sent me. I can't find it now, put it down and I've forgotten where I put it. <laughs> but it was with these, these beautiful little Christmas ornaments. And I thought, right, I'm gonna sit down and suss it out and I'm gonna make one. So how cute is that to hang on your tree? I've added some of that little tinsel in the center. Uh, I just think it's beautiful. I used the plaid papers on this one and I'm gonna be using these papers on this next one. I just think they're really cute, bright and cheerful. You need 20 of the large and 20 of the small. So I chose two different patterns. This is, to make one, you could probably get uh, one and a half, about 30, right there, 20, so one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, about 16 more from that sheet. So you'd need just a little small strip like that again off another one to make a second one. But this is how much I used off uh, a 12 by 12 for the small ones. And that I cut two strips at one and three quarter and got nine out of each row. So uh, the last two I took out of this piece. These I cut to two and another piece Ooh. this one I cut to two and three eighths and you can literally just get if you want to be frugal yeah go all the way to the end and just you can just get it in and pop one out like that and it doesn't give you that much space that's how much space you've got top and bottom so you can get, uh, like I say, about 36 out of one sheet of 12 by 12. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut 20 of those. And 20, where's my other ones gone? I can't. You need 20 of those. And I've got them all folded the wrong way because I want the red on the inside. That's better. And where's my other? There they are. And you want 20 of the large ones. And I've gone already and scored, or you need to score 15 of them down the centers and keep five flat. So that's the one I've just punched. How cute are them? You can build off them, put more on it. You know, if you want to do another row, you can make them as bigger and just carry on going round. It's entirely up to you. So, pop them to one side. You just gonna literally glue these together. Keep them nice and steady together and just pinch. Cutest, cutest ornaments ever. Yeah, it are. Oh, the ladies are in chat already, and they've got another half an hour to go. Our daylight saving time went back on Saturday night, and me and Mr. Boyce didn't even because we don't watch telly no more. We we just stream because there's nothing on the telly that interests me apart from well nothing. So I just stream my favourite uh, main uh, cabin masters, I love watching that, uh, Alaskan bush people, you know, all that sort of thing. So you're going to end up with a little ornament like that, it's so cute. And then with your large one, I want the stripes on the outside, you could just, you could have done with the red and green if you want to keep, I love stripes. So we, we didn't even know off the news that we our clocks had to go back on Sunday and when we woke up because we don't get out of bed normally till 10 it was like 11 o'clock and I was like oh my god we've overslept get up <laughs> I 
as you do. And uh, no, the clocks went back. When he was going, but my phone's bang on. It says 10 o'clock. So why is my clock saying 11? And we didn't even click on until we went downstairs though. And looked at the calendar there it said, daylight savings time, clocks go back. <laughs> so everyone's sitting in chat now going, has the time gone? Has the time changed? And I'm like, yes, I'd like, our daylight savings time is different than yours. It's normally the last Saturday, Saturday in October and uh, there's still one more Saturday which is October 31st but they've done it a week early so so this is my large and small and as you can tell I have prepped and done the rest because I don't want to be sitting here doing all that for you I've got a piece of real red cardstock to match the and I'm just going to cut a two inch circle out of there. That's all you need that for. That goes back in my scraps. And I'm taking some double sided tape. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to be that big, but it's just for the center. So I'm just gonna literally put that through the center and punch that out. You can use a glue dot if you want or you could use adhesive. I'm just going to use a bit of double sided tape because I can and it's coming apart. It's not that bit, it's that bit. And I'm just going to stick that right on there. We know it's going to fit. Just grip it to the edge. There we go. So all the stickies now on the back of there. I mean, if you want to be precise, you could get a ruler before you've actually stuck it down. And that's two inches. And look for the centre. But I'm just going to eyeball it roughly. About there. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take your... And you're just going to aim for the centre. And just follow it round. How cute is it? You can see it's starting to take shape now. And your last piece. Look how sweet that is starting starting to look already. And then with these, just gonna you're just gonna glue from the bottom. Don't go all the way to the top because they do poke out at the top. And then you're just gonna slide these as far down as they'll go and push that in there. How sweet. They are so cute. Go down as far as you can and push. And then it'll just open out. How sweet is this? So adorable. You could sit with the grandkids. Uh, do it as a project. Uh, craft, you know, make these and open sell them on craft fairs, handmade decorations. People love that sort of stuff as well. Make a string of them and have them as garlands. It's entirely up to you. And like I say, you could just build out and keep building out and out and out and out and out. So just push in as far as you can. And there's that little, how cute is that? Oh my goodness. And then I took my crocodile and literally just opened one out. And I'm 
doing the smallest hole. And just pop that through there. I've got some green old olive twine. I'm just going to trim myself a little bit of that off. thread that through there when I can and then just click that back up and tie a little knot off at the end And there is that beautiful, cute little decoration. Now, for the centre, you could add a gem. You could, oh, excuse me, ladies. I to apologise. You could add a gem in there. You could add uh, a bead, uh, a, a sequin, anything you want. I added a little bit of tinsel on that one. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, I've got little stars. Maybe I could put a little star in the centre. That would be cute. Let's go with a red star. And just, oops. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. That is just the cutest little thing. Keep that on the top. You could glue that into place if you wanted. And then, how cute. I think that might just fall off actually. So. That's got it. You could add gems all round it if you wanted to. Let me just grab my smaller one. Whoops. My paper's jamming up in my drawer. Got it. Back down you go. And some little rhinestones and put them on the tips or. You could really just gem these with babies right up. I'll show you up close in a minute when I get them on. That one's closed right up. I'll do it at the top. Let's move it down from the bottom because it normally don't get seen there anyway. I'll put it at the top. How cute! You could just glam them all up anywhere. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. You could add more to there if you want. You, if you were giving them as a little gift to somebody. How cute is that? That is so cute. Just pick them back up again. How, where's one just fell off there? I saw it. There we go. So there we go, there's that cute little, you could just make them bigger, add another row of these ones and just keep going round and round and round. They are, oops, so stinking cute, look at that. You could add a little message on the back if you want. 
You could do a more decoration if you want. Or, ooh, there you go. You could get two of them and stick them together. And have a, a really mega 3D looking um, one. Oh, that is so cute. But there we go. I just thought I'd come along. I think they are adorable. Lady sent me a box of them and I can't remember for the life of me who it was. I am terrible. I should write people's names on things. Sorry, ladies, but my nose is playing football again. I know to just dribble everywhere. <laughs> so there we go. There is my quick and easy project. And I think they took, they took me to make that one and get all that one prepped and make that one with you an hour so we, we could pop these out every half one every half hour 20 minutes uh maybe even just every 15 minutes i don't know but they are so cute i love the one with the tinsel i just glued a little strip into place and turned it into a circle i glued it round and round and round like that until i got a little blob and then stuck it straight in the center you could even iron them up with this little mini tinsel if you want as well. I just think they're adorable. I've got gemstones coming all over the place. So there we go. Really would love a thumbs up and a share. They are so adorable. I love them. Love, 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 love. So they're going on my Christmas tree this year. If Mr. Boy's fancies celebrating it this year. He doesn't always like it. We haven't done for a while now. He misses his daughter like crazy, bless him. But there we go. That's my little project for today. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Bye.